hi viewers today we are going to model a pair of splint 3d printed splints for our hand and for that reason i just need to scan my whole hand splints are basically uh, braces or prosthetics which is 3d printed and previously have been applied in medical industry by using plaster of paris so this is what we are going to design today and for this thing i'm scanning my hand it's a bit difficult part to scan all the fingers and uh, remaining the track of the 3d scanner but still we are doing our best to capture the whole area right now we are not interested in scanning the fingers area because we are going to use the splint or braces for our hand for just the wrist areas if accidentally you broke your wrist or there is a need to apply some plaster over there so we can design something some different kind of product for this one using this 3d scanner once the scan is complete now i'm going to convert into a mesh and let's see how this whole mesh turns out so after meshing i just realized that uh, it is quite okay for me because wrist area is quite good enough and the upper thumb part is also okay and this is the required area which i am going to use for designing the splint for my wrist so i'm going to export this one in obj format once the model is exported then i'm going to import this one into 3ds max for designing the splint okay so before going into 3ds max we have imported the model in mesh mixer to remove the unnecessary areas which we are not going to need while designing the splint once the areas are selected hit delete to delete the unnecessary areas as you can see over here these are the required areas but it is quite rough right now so before designing anything i just need to make the scan data uh, with with regular polygons so i'm going to smoothen it out by using shrink smooth brush shrink smooth brush is quite ideal while making the polygons on a right direction and place by keeping the normals unified as you can see over here this wrist area is quite crunchy on the ends so i'm going to smoothen it out these rough areas are going to make a lot of trouble while designing in 3ds max so i just need to make sure that all of these abnormalities would be gone over here so I'm going to smooth the whole surface. There are some bubbles on the back side of the hand and these are the uh, my palm lines. So I'm going to smoothen it out. Once the areas are quite good enough. Now, as you can see over here, the whole surface is very smooth right now. So after just doing the remaining part we are going to see how the polygons are distributed on this whole 3d model i think so it's looking quite good now so a little bit more refining <clears throat> now i'm going to copy this object and to make it a little bit bigger for the air gap to be worn on the hand so i think so scale 1.05 or 1.07 or 6 would be good enough i think so 1.05 is good enough so once it is scaled a little bit bigger now i'm going to see the distribution of polygons over here I have remeshed the whole scan data as you can see over here the polygons are randomly distributed so we are going to rectify this one 
there are some particular problems in polygon so we are going to fill the defected areas as you can see over here there wouldn't be any distributed non-distributed polygons so the polygons should be properly distributed otherwise it will create a lot of problems so once the all the, all the areas are rectified then i am going to reduce the number of polygons over here as you can see on the corners that uh, the polygons are quite rough and quite differently distributed so i'm going to reduce the number of polygons over here by using adaptive uh, reduction brush now you can see over here the polygons are quite good in manner and i think so these are good to go there is a problem so i'm going to fill this polygon Once the polygons are ready and uh, I am satisfied with the patterns of the distribution of polygons, then I am going to apply the next command. So the next command would be about uh, making it a plain cut. A splint basically used to be worn on the wrist this one which is i am designing right now so this is a need this need to be cut into half so that it won't be able to have some problems while wearing so i am going to cut this splint into the equal halves so it's totally up to you uh, while designing this product but i am just uh, modeling this one to give you the idea now the whole surfaces are separate and I am going to move the other surface a little bit far as you can see over here this is the top surface of hand and this one is the palm area so I am going to move this palm area a little bit way further so that I can apply the second command on that which is make pattern as you can see over here this pattern has been produced and it, it can be used to make it look beautiful as well as trendy and it has a different function to allow some air and to breathe the skin now this whole splint is ready afterwards you can design some clamps or you can use some attachment bands to wear this on your wrist this would be a very fashionable and trendy prosthetic or uh, a medical splint which can be used instead of a regular plaster and this whole thing has been produced by scanning the uh, scanning my hand and it would be a perfect fit so once you are good enough to see the product so this is how the product will look like Yes, thank you so much for watching.